Hey guys, we're back with another Pocketry video and this one's going to be a little early. Next week we're still going to be taking a look at running Quake 3 on this baby, but there's a huge update that's just happened this week and we finally have 3D hardware acceleration on the Pocketry. It's still in its alpha stage, so some things may or may not have been improved, but I thought I'd get this one out ASAP because it's quite a good one actually and uh, it's to do with video playing. Now, obviously, I've been looking at video players and nothing works, but with regards to a certain uh, video player that's quite popular at the minute, Cody, now works on the pocket chip. So we're going to skip all of the tutorial phase for the commands go down below. Obviously, watch my pocket chip flashing, uh, the chip flashing tutorial I've done, and you can uh, flash your pocket chip to the latest firmware that way. But basically, in the terminal, you're going to want to type in two commands. You want to do sudo apt get update as usual, and then you want to do sudo apt uh, get install Cody. So, once we've done that, and like I say, the commands will be down below, we simply type in Cody. And the Pocket Chip should boot her up. Now, someone on the forums has said that uh, video playing through Cody is, is not working, but video streaming through Cody is working well. And although I don't condone piracy, people use Cody for video streaming uh, via many different add-ons. Now these add-ons are technically not so legal, but you can see Cody's working as it should and you can get some various add-ons and the most popular add-on we can get is Exodus. Now Exodus is obviously slightly sketchy but we're not going to be playing any illegal stuff today. We're going to be playing stuff that's pretty old um, and you can't really get uh, too easily in the, in the shop just to make it a little bit uh, better but once you've got Exodus installed simply hit enter you can use the touchscreen obviously the resistive touchscreen does work with Kodi but it's a little bit hit and miss now the screen resolution is automatically scaled so we don't have to worry about that and uh, the TV shows or videos that you can watch are automatically scaled too now we're going to go into TV shows and we're going to watch some I don't know, let's see Let's go to Pokemon and uh, get Pokemon up, and hopefully we can get Series One. And that's that old now that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And you can see that it plays. Uh, so everything works as normal. Um, the directional keys do all this. Uh, the Enter key is to enter, and it's pretty much like using a keyboard with Cody if you haven't used a touchscreen uh, and you've got it on your PC. So you know you just get your add-ons, install whatever you like, obviously if you're not too sure on this grey area crap then don't bother, um, I just installed it to show you guys that it does work and this was the first thing that popped into my head so I apologize for anyone that's offended um, but you can see it's loading up, now sometimes I have noticed, uh, I've only been using it about half an hour but sometimes it takes a while to load stuff and sometimes it doesn't load a stream straight away um, you can see that it's working down in the bottom corner here but you may be waiting a few more minutes than usual if you're using a smartphone but it's still pretty rapid now we can go to season one and we should press enter and uh, again here is sometimes where it freezes up a little bit or slows down a little bit but hopefully it'll be fairly quick for you guys I am laid down so my voice might sound a little weird but I'm upstairs because people are unwell so they're off work downstairs so I don't have downstairs to myself. So uh, as you can see we have Pokemon loaded up and if we press enter skadoosh this takes quite a while and you won't see the loading bit for a little bit but it does come up you just have to wait so you can see sometimes it doesn't find a stream at all sometimes it does but if you do it a couple of times usually you'll get there three at the most so far for me so
Now, obviously, Pocketchip doesn't have any speakers unless you've soldered speakers on board, which is great if you've got the skill to do that. If you haven't, uh, obviously, your headphones work great. I'm watching Cody on this screen is pretty sweet. So as you can see, we're working pretty well, and we're loading up. And boom, we've got three streams. So if we press enter on a stream, now the sad thing about this is you can't really do this, obviously when you're out and about, but if you're at home, you want to sit by the bed, you can do this. And uh, if we plug in the headphones in the top here, you might be able to get a little bit of audio out of here. But the audio actually works. See? So that, guys, is how we do Cody on the pocket chip. And if you want any more information, please do comment below. But as you can see, it works perfectly. The streams are great. And finally, we've got some sort of video playing on the pocket chip. If you enjoyed this video, I'll see you soon. Cheers.